Okay, we're going to do a little update here. I've had a lot of guys ask some questions about this. <clears throat> we're trying to replace um, this old wood stove here. Smoky old thing with something that burns a little cleaner, less firewood. So if you saw my first video, that's the core buried underneath a 55 gallon barrel with another part barrel welded on right there at the seam. Just tack welded, it's not even sealed. Then the cut end is just sitting on the concrete floor, it's not even sealed to the floor. So the idea is you feed wood down vertically, the fire burns down, across, up the heat riser, and the heat riser comes within three and three quarter inches of the top of the barrel, and that allows more heat to go down the side of the barrel so we get a little more radiation. This is an eight inch rocket stove, uh, it's based in round pipe terms because you use a round pipe to exhaust it but it's hooked up to six inch pipe which is not supposed to work but we had an existing six inch system so we decided to try it and it actually works really well um, <clears throat> if you can look in there that is a hot fire and we're only using really the front half to two thirds of the box but as that wood burns down into those coals, it is incredible how hot that thing gets. And you can see the fire, I don't know if you can see it on video, but it's burning upside down. It's pulling down in. We're burning pine here because we're experimenting with free wood. Um, but the pine allows it to back burn a little bit more. It gets burned up higher than hardwood wood. So I'm not sure if I'm in love with that or not. But at any rate, it's hot. Um, <clears throat> The center, my infrared gun here, temperature gun goes to 800 degrees and that's over 800 degrees, it won't register anymore. Um, right there it's almost 800. You can see where the dot is. Come over here, we're at 590, yeah. Almost 600 degrees and as you go down, 384. The very bottom, we're still at 180 on this side. On the other side, we're usually around 220. The concrete refractory here is 236. So you can pretty much burn yourself on everything here. But then we go up here and we've taken so much heat out, 185 degrees. I can actually touch that a little bit and not burn myself. Um, we have a fan sitting back here. We, we're going to put a shroud over this, mount that blower on top. But for right now, we have a fan sitting back here. When the fan's on, I can put my hand on that elbow right there and I can leave it there for several seconds. It's just not an issue. So that's how much heat we're taking out of the system just through one barrel setup. <clears throat> when we do the permanent setup, we're going to actually add a second barrel system uh, to the side and then exhaust out. So by reducing uh, the stack temperature more, we should get more velocity through the system because that, that the volume of air in that pipe actually gets smaller the more heat you take out of it. Um, we're hoping at this point that we don't even have to change the system, go to an 8 inch system. But at any rate, it's, uh, it's incredibly hot. Like I said, the pine's probably not the best choice because it tends to, the coals tend to be able to heat it up higher up and have it burn higher but even then you'll see the, the flame, I just don't know how well you can see this, but the flame, it's up above the firebox, but it's actually pulling down. And uh, the best way to burn this thing is to keep it full of wood. You can see how little air it actually requires. And by the time that wood burns down, there's a bed of coals down here in the bottom. That is throwing so much heat, it's unbelievable. Um, and we've got a couple hairline cracks here and on the other side because this rim stays cooler than the rest of the firebox so it there's some stresses going on right here and it's okay it's not a it's not a fatal failure or anything it's just a natural part of concrete moving or actually cement moving not concrete so at any rate I'm going to do a quick update 
and uh, <clears throat> that pipe comes through into here. Again, you can see 150. This can be touched without burning yourself. You leave your hand on there for a little bit of wood. And I'll walk you outside real quick and show you the exhaust or lack of, I guess you could say. You can't smell it. You can't tell anything's happening. And some days when we burn a little bit of wet wood, you'll get a little bit of steam out of there and it'll dissipate in about 10 feet or so if it's much at all. When we were firing the furnace, we actually had some of that happening more. But there's nothing coming out of there. If you can really stand and look at it, you can see some heat waves, sometimes against the trees, but that's, that's pretty much it. So it's, we're pretty thrilled with it get it set up permanently and be able to extract more heat I think it'll end up working real well. Thanks for watching.